Well, 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 we're back again. <clears throat> I'm sure you've, um, you've, uh, what you call this? You're, uh, you've seen my profile and there's a new stream, ske stream schedule. Yeah, I was supposed to uh, start at 1.30 p.m. That, this afternoon, but I uh, had some business to attend, okay? I am no longer recording this from OBS. I am recording this from my camera. Now, we now have a separate camera for, uh, for YouTube, okay? So, YouTube audience, you're so lucky. <laughs> so, let's get down to business, shall we? Now, um, in case you have, uh, in case you, in case you're not up to speed as to what we're doing now, we are, I am going to announce what I call the lifestyle den. Now, if you're an anime, how do you qualify for the lifestyle then? Simple. So, there should be a, you should be a new anime uh, that, that started airing, uh, call it, yeah, that started airing in the year in question. Now, in this case, 2020. Now, you don't have to, uh, you don't have to complete your run within, within 2020. Nope. It should be at least 75% complete. Okay? So, kung yare, you got, um, you're slated for 12 episodes. Like, um, Moriarty the Patriot. Ah, uh, no, no, no. 12 episodes. Oh, I'm standing on 1 million lives. Slated for 12 episodes. So, 75% of that is 9. Right? So, yeah. 75% of that is 9. So, maka 9 episodes ka lang, pasok ka na. Alright? But, you should start airing within that year. In, in this case, in the case of the inaugural lineup, 2020, so dapat, you started airing on 2020. Mayari, kahit abutan ka man ng... ka na... 2021, you, you should have you should have aired uh, you should have aired at least 75 percent of your episodes. Okay. Now, if in case you have already completed your run, also within 2020, I will give you very special treatment. All right, with this uh, with uh, with uh, with this list. Because I'll be giving you priority. If you're an anime, <clears throat> and if you started and completed your run within the same year, automatic, I will give you priority in this list. This list isn't like isn't like any other that you uh, that you uh, that you've seen on YouTube or anywhere anywhere on the net. Nope. There are no rankings here. I have. I will be giving all the animes here uh, in the Lifestyle 10 equal treatment. So there are no rankings. Pasok ka sa Lifestyle 10, you're good for me. <laughs> so, and uh, well, last but not the least, if you want to, uh, well, if you're already, if you already qualify for the shortlist for the Lifestyle 10, You'll have to you have to undergo uh, my special criterion. I call it the Otaku Lifestyle Principles. Okay. Principle number one. Principle number one. Synopsis. Okay. The story is all that matters. Say, well, I'm a season anime fan, right? I've been an I've been an anime fan for 42 years. Okay. And if there's one thing. That I should, uh, call it, that I uh, that I've learned is well, do not depend on the kind of animation, uh, music, the background music, the voice actors. No, do not concern yourself with that first. You, the story behind that anime, that's your number one concern. Okay. So if I read the synopsis before. Uh, an anime is aired, a new anime is aired, and I think, hmm, I'm gonna enjoy watching this and reviewing this. 
That's my number one. That's my number one principle. Okay. Storyline is all that matters. Number two. <clears throat> check if it is check if it is hype. So, like, uh, well, it's easy. It's easy to check if an anime is hype. You've heard it from from the street. You've seen it online. Uh, everybody's raving about it, and the anime hasn't even aired. Do not subscribe to the hype first. Right? Consider principle number one: story. Read the synopsis. Go into any uh, go to some um, some anime anime database or uh, anime media site. Read the synopsis from there, and if you're and if you fancy the story, watch it. That's the only time. That is the only way you can you, know, you can check out of the hype is real. That's the only way. Okay. And principle number three. Well, if there's a lesson to be learned, watch it. Me, if I feel that an anime uh, is not doesn't have any educational uh, doesn't have any educational value, no, I won't. I won't even waste my time reviewing it I may watch it for entertainment value but for um, but for for review purposes nope I won't feature that in I won't feature that in any of my anime reviews digests nope it's a waste of time I'll be wasting my time I will be wasting your time mga lifestyle gusto kasi may uh, may moral lesson uh, may moral lesson may moral lesson tayo makukulo din a moral lesson time because it is easier to pick up a moral lesson from from uh, from animated shows rather than live action believe it or not you can pick up moral le you can pick up more lessons from animated shows than uh, than than live action ones I don't know why it's uh, I don't know why it's that these days but to us anime fans that's our benefit Okay. <clears throat> that is to benefit us, the anime fans. So, those are my three principles. And if you're an anime, and if you uh, and if you meet these three, uh, the three major criteria of mine, then you're well. You are now 90% in the lifestyle 10. But of course, well, it's only 10 slots. So, um, it's now. Uh, it's not a matter of personal taste for me. If I uh, if I had a blast, uh, both watching and reviewing an anime, and if it meets my three criterion, then it is in the lifestyle ten, guaranteed. So well, hindi porket na meet mo ang criterion ko, you're in the lifestyle ten. Remember, it's only ten slots. At, at sa at, at sa ba kayo mga anime lalo na yung mga bago this, uh, last year there were uh, a ton of new animes in 2020 so I just got a limited deck now <clears throat> with that uh, with that in mind let's start with the special mentions syempre okay. now how do you, how does an anime uh, how does an anime how does an anime fall under my special mentions list for the lifestyle 10 special mentions list okay well simply simply lang. if they only meet at if they only meet at least um, two of my criteria my major criterion right the top of lifestyle principles still remember still, still remember that so if they, only meet, if they only meet two, well, they're in my special. They're they'll only fall into my special mentions list. Although they have uh, qualified to be in the lifestyle then. So after uh, after further deliberation, I think so. I figured, nah, this is not lifestyle ten material. Okay, there's sto the storyline. Uh, and uh, I haven't haven't gotten much le haven't gotten much um, 
life lessons from this anime. It's talagang pure entertainment value lang talaga. So, they're in the special mentions list. Now, <clears throat> there are only two animes that are that that fell under that fell under special mentions. One, the first one is you're seeing right now. First one you're seeing right now. For, for Twitch, I'll be pointing this way. I'll be pointing. I'll be pointing this way. For YouTube, this one. All right. So the first up, so first up for our special mentions is Doro Hedoro. Right? This was um <clears throat> one of the uh, one of the best uh, supernatural animes I've seen in a very long time. One of the weirdest. Okay? One of the weirdest storylines I've ever come across. Okay? One of the weirdest. If not one of the uh, one of the bloodiest, of course. <laughs> One of the bloodiest, the violence, the, uh, the gore, you're into gore of course. Baka mahina, baka mahina ang kapara sa, sa gore nito eh. And, but the storyline is really good. The only thing that, that, um, that made it, that, uh, made it fall to, to, to just special mention is, well, I didn't get, uh, I only got to probably two or three Two or three, two or three moral lessons from this, um, from this, uh, from this anime, from this, in, from this anime's entire run, huh? It's twelve episodes. I only got two or three moral lessons, so special mention, eh, siya. So what's the other anime that, uh, that only received special mention from me? This. God of High School. <laughs> Believe it or not, okay? <clears throat> although I had a, uh, I had a hell of a time watching and reviewing this anime. Okay? It deserves to be called one of the holy trinity of manwas. The storyline's really good. The fight scenes, wow. Okay? Shut up, ako when it comes to the fight scenes of this anime. Shut up, ako. But it has been hyped. Okay. Now, compared to Dorohedro, Dorohedro wasn't wasn't really hyped at all. This got a lot of hype at the uh, even before 2020 started. Right? Even before 20 uh, even before 2020 started. This anime got a lot of hype. So you can say that um It was because it was because of the hype that I um, that I um, decided to check its storyline out. Okay, so inuna ko muna yung hype bago yung storya, right? And yeah, I didn't get much. Okay? I didn't get much moral lesson from from this anime. Oh, isaw dalawa lang. That profound, ah, a moral lesson should be profound enough. Oh, okay? isaw dalawa lang. Oh, isaw dalawa. Lang. So this rounds out our my uh, special mentions. So recap: God of High School, oh sorry, and Doro Hedoro. So next up are what? Bimuna lifestyle de, bibitini ng muna kayo, okay? Bibitini ng muna natin yan. Meron pa tayong list. Meron pa tayong uh, <clears throat> kumbaga tertiary list lang itong special mentions. We also have a second daddy list. Those animes that, well, met all my major criteria, of course, qualified, but I didn't have much of, uh, I wasn't exactly, uh, I wasn't exactly happy watching and reviewing them. Okay. Ah, oh, pali. Meron pa na tayong anime na i-reviewin. Okay, sige, panoorin na natin to. Not much excitement. Okay, not much excitement. But, um, I had, let's just say I had a, um, I had a decent time watching and reviewing these animes. Decent time lang. So, I call it 
the honorable mentions. So, like I said, the honorable mentions are those animes that <clears throat> they all qualified. They met all three of my criterion, all three major criterion, but I only had a decent time. I only had a decent time watching and reviewing them. But hey, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Some of these honorable mentions are great animes. Don't get me wrong, folks. Don't get me wrong, mga lifestyle. Okay? Don't get me wrong. Now, first up on our honorable mentions list. GBA. Hmm? So, <clears throat> I was strongly considering this for the Lifestyle 10 because <clears throat> it had a it had chock full of moral lessons to be learned. There was a there was a uh, there was a a, a, plethora, a plethora of lessons to be learned from this anime. Okay. But due to the um I think the the flow of the animation now the storyline okay it's lifestyle 10 material but due to the um what you call this yung uh, quality ng anime quality ng animation ng anime na to um it wasn't almost as enjoyable as it's uh as it's uh, what you call this as it's uh, contemporaries during the summer of 2020 let's say summer summer pinalabas ang, ang anime na to not like it's contemporaries uh, during uh, the summer of 2020 hindi ganong kapino ang anime there were, there were stops na stops and pauses na parang mm, parang ubing parang ano eh Wala sa lugar yung pagka, pagkapitin. Wala sa lugar. Yun. So, yeah. <clears throat> if they if they did a um, they did a better job on uh, the, the rendering, the animation, or whatever they need to do to make it really look good, I might I might have put this in the lifestyle 10. Okay? GB. So, next up. <clears throat> I've said before, in, uh, in my last uh, review digest, I'm standing on one million lives. It's one of the three isekai animes I um uh, uh, the that stand out to me right now. Okay, the other two are um ano nga yung sinabi ko? Basa, yun yun. I'm standing on one million lives. Is one of them. E bago lang ito. It's a fall twenty. It's a fall anime. Okay, now. <clears throat> bakit honorable lang? Bakit honorable mention lang? Kasi, well, um, there are a lot of, there are a lot of moral lessons to be learned. But, like GBA, and then, hindi naman, hindi naman like GBA, um, there were inconsistencies. There were inconsistencies in this anime that, um, really made me think, dawa, pag in lifestyle 10 to, kasi, um, you have to uh, if you're a uh, if you're a total total newbie to isekai to isekai animes baka hindi mo magets baka hindi mo magets to eh. there are some inconsistencies that um totally that I think uh, partially broke the storyline right but don't get me wrong it's a great anime if this weren't a great anime it wouldn't uh, a season 2 for it wouldn't be announced right after it ended. Yeah, may season 2 to. So, yeah. Standing on 1 million likes, just an honorable mention for me. If the, uh, if the, if the total flow of this anime uh, were, were that, um, uh, what do you call this? Were that, uh, what word is that? Were that smooth? It could have been in the lifestyle. It could have been part of the lifestyle ten. Okay. Next, this is a borderline hentai, and its name is Super Hexeros. I absolutely love its OP. Okay, 
I absolutely love this OP. Don't get me wrong. This is also a great anime. But it's a borderline hentai. <laughs> and it's absolutely funny. But there was one anime that was even funnier than it. Kaya, that is the main reason why honorable mention lang siya. You, you can't have to. You can't have too many borderline hentais on one list, alright? Baka... Baka mabaske. You might... You, um... You might get... You might get bashed in the big, in a big way. Baka yung platform na mismo magbash sa'yo. So... So I had to choose either that, either this, or that. So I uh, relegated this to just honorable mention. But... Hey, don't get me wrong, mga ka lifestyle. Hey, don't get me wrong, Twitch. This is a great anime. Alright? Probably the best alternative to My Hero Academia. Kasi super he superhero anime din to eh. This is also a superhero anime. So, but unfortunately, um, I had to choose between this and and that which is now in the lifestyle 10. So, uh, kumaga, kunswelo di bobo na lang itong honorable mention. Okay. Sayang. <clears throat> and I think the, the producers don't intend to give it another season. And, uh, so, sayang. It's a good anime. It's a good anime pa lang. So, next up. Next honorable mention. Now, if you're a fan of Major, or one outs, you might consider this anime. Its name is Tamayomi. Okay. Pero, women's baseball naman siya. Women's high school baseball. Right? Now, uh, it met the uh, it met the three major criteria to qualify, but I only had a decent time reviewing and watching this anime. I only had, I only, I only, I only had a decent time. So that's why it's an honorable mention and not in the lifestyle thing. Although, if if the um, what you call this, if the um, if the storyline were uh, were were more, what you call this? more stable or even the animation or even the music alright or even the music I might have considered this for the lifestyle 10 although I had a although I only had a decent time watching and reviewing pero ano pang honorable mention lang siya okay Tamayomi is the name of the anime next hmm Gulat kayo, no? Gulat kayo, no, mga ka-lifestyle? Yup. Tower of God is just an honorable mention for me. Why? <clears throat> it qualified. It, uh, it passed the three major criterion. Tatlong, oh, tatlong otako lifestyle principles ko. And, it is lifestyle then material. But, there were um, no, I couldn't say inconsistencies. No, I only had a decent time watching and reviewing it. There were no. Um, I think the only, uh, the only, the only time na ginula ako ng anime na to is when Rachel betrayed Bang. Doon ako talaga ginulat ang anime na to. Right? So, yung wow factor, that was the only time. That was the only time. Uh, and, and probably, Shun secretly putting that crown on Bam and having him sit in the set, yung, set, yung, yung trono sa sentro where they had to, where they had to protect him just to win, just to win that quest. Sila ni Rock. Both him and both Shun and Rock has to have to protect Bam. He wasn't even a he wasn't even a warrior yet here. Eh. So yeah. Oh no. Hey, don't get me wrong. <clears throat> okay, don't get me wrong. 
all three members of the, the Holy Trinity of Manwas, they all have good storylines. Power of God is no exception. Okay? Magandang storyline ito. And it's probably relatable if you love underdogs. Okay? Bam! It's the quintessential underdog. Okay? So, pero, I only had a decent time watching and reviewing this anime. Ah, uh, nagimbal lang ako talaga ng gusto when during the episode when Rachel betrayed Bam. Dun lang talaga. Dun ako talaga. Napa ganon. Napa ganon ako talaga. So for honorable mention yun. Sorry, God, Tower of God fans, but it's only an honorable mention for me. And I think you have a, you probably have a good idea. Now. Which of the Holy Trinity of Manwas are in the lifestyle then? So, pero now, hindi ko mo nasasabihin, alright? Hindi ko mo nasasabihin. <laughs> Maghintay kayo. <laughs> Maghintay kayo. So, next up. Yeah, okay. This is what I would fondly call K-On on planes. <laughs> Warlords of Sigurd Rifa. Don't get me wrong. The storyline is good. The storyline is really good. Okay. For a um, for a combined lowly military anime, nothing corny about about Secret Rifa. But why is it an honorable mention? Although there were a lot of moral lessons, there were a lot of quality moments in this anime that you would uh, pick le- they would uh, pick up a lesson from. Pero bakit honorable mention? Bakit honorable mention? There were some, there were some inconsistencies that um uh, that I uh that I actually overlook. Kasi sa ganda ng sa ganda ng storya, yun overlook ko yung mga inconsistencies ng anime na to. Like um uh, all this. There was when when the the episode when he tried to take uh when the they were trying to escape. One of the uh, one of the secondary pillars, and they had to go through an underground tunnel para makapunta sila sa mga planes sila. Now, I saw a bit of an inconsistency there. Okay. Um, I for, I already forgot it. I already forgot. Yung yung page kasi ng yung page kasi ng episode nyo medyo ano eh? Uh, talagang nadala ako. Talagang I carried away ako with the pace of that episode. But, so, there were a lot of moral lessons. They qualified for the um, three major criteria. Due to some inconsistencies, uh, it, it can only reach honorable mention status. Right? But, don't get me wrong. What are the secret three fa? Was uh, was created by A1 Pictures, the same animation team behind Sword Art Online. So if you ask me, if you're totally done with Sword Art Online, take this up. Okay, take this anime up. So yeah, fortunately, honorable mention lang on Warlords of Secret Rifa. So to recap, the honorable mentions. Order of Secret Rifa, Tower of God, Tamayomi, Super Hexeros, I'm Standing on One Million Lives, and GBA. Right. <clears throat> so we now round it. So we now we're now done with that. So to prepare for the lifestyle then. So, what are the enemies that made the lifestyle then? Okay. Now, <clears throat> these are the enemies that qualified, met my uh, met my three major criterion, my three major criteria, and of course, I had a I had a really good time watching and reviewing them all. It was a, it was almost a joy. Uh, it was. 
it was almost a joy uh, sitting on my bed and watching these animes while I while I review them for uh, for my content right here on Twitch and YouTube. So here we are, folks. The Lifestyle 10. I have arranged this according to the anime season they, they first aired. Okay, so don't be surprised. Do not be surprised. Now, if you don't believe me, just do your research. Okay? From, from Winter 2020, first up, Somali in the Forest Spirit. Right? I rarely watch um, fantasy drama animes. I rarely watch them, but when I read this anime synopsis and saw the saw the teaser on YouTube, I thought, story Okay, let's watch and review this. No, let's watch this. Because during the time, I haven't, I haven't been, uh, I'm not into the, I'm not into reviewing animes yet. When I, when I. Uh, when I watch this anime, okay, so swerte nyo. <clears throat> Kasi inupisa ko lang yung mga anime reviews na yan during spring, spring 2020. Winter, winter unang lumabas to. Storyline is good. It wasn't hype. It fell under the radar. Okay, literally fell under the radar. And there, there's a chop of moral lessons to be learned here. A chunk of life lessons, okay? <clears throat> I am into personal development. And if I meet someone who's also into personal development or yung mga motivational videos or uh, uh, what you call this? Mga learning life lessons, I would strongly recommend this anime to them. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. So, kicking off the Lifestyle 10 from Winter, Somali in the forest spirit. I actually made a business blog article based on this. The lessons I learned from this anime and how it and how it can be applied to um, how to uh, how to be productive and how to how to run your business. So good. That's how that is how impactful this anime was. So it deserves to be in the lifestyle tent. Only two animes from that anime season only two from that anime season made it to the lifestyle 10. Here's the second one. Mm. Darwin's game. Right? <clears throat> I saw I first um got wind of this anime on YouTube. May may nag teaser. May nag teaser ng anime na to sa YouTube. But I also checked the uh, check the synopsis out, and I thought, "Kakaiba na naman story ato ah." All right, let's watch this. I was it. To my surprise, its pilot was one hour. It had a one hour pilot, so kaya eleven episodes lang siya. And wow, from start to finish, super exciting. Super exciting ang anime na to. <clears throat> and, lintik ang character development ng main protag dito, si Kaname. Uh, the one, the one wearing the white, the one wearing the white hoodie, yan, that's Kaname. He is the main protag of that show. Lintik yung naging character development niya dito. Talagang pinip ako. Right? So, but, it's a winter anime, so, hindi ko pa, uh, I am I am not into the reviewing thing yet. Pero it's the anime is so good, it met my three major criteria. It deserves to be in the lifestyle 10. So only two animes from the winter from the winters from the winter anime season landed on this list. Somali in the Forest Spirit and the one you're seeing now, Darwin's Game. So next is Oh, spring. Only two animes made it made it to this list. First up. Apare Ranman. Right? <clears throat> now, I know you're uh I know uh, uh, ano kung may mga sasabi na kayo, may sinasabi na kayo na, 
Bakit naman JG? Eh, summer yan! Summer nang kumpisa yan. No! It did not start its run during the summer. It started in spring. First two episodes. After its first two episodes, nag-break na siya. Matagal, nag-break. Bumalik ito nung um, August. Mid-August, yata siya bumalik. And it's dated for 13 episodes. So, its last 10 was aired during the summer. Kasi, I think na nadali yata ng pandemic yung mga animators dito. I think, uh, I think. Uh, I don't know the backstory behind uh, Aparirang man taking that long a break. But it did take a break. It took one of the longest breaks last year. Okay? So, it's considered a spring anime kasi it first aired during the spring of 2020. A lot of lessons to be learned from this anime. Okay? Like, bam! Apare is also an underdog. Pero, genius na underdog. He wants to win this transcontinental um, car race by building one, building a very outrageous contraption. Akala mo, tren eh. Pero yung pala, kochi lang. And he was able to win that race. But along the way, they had adventures. So, talagang, pero, he showed, he showed a sign of weakness here. Na, hindi lahat, hindi lahat ang pagkakaton sinosod ng science. I think that was the biggest lesson I learned from this anime. Kasi, yun ang weakness ni Apare. Kasi, akala, because, uh, you always think that, oh, science can do that. Let's do this. Wala, hindi. Another member of the Lifestyle 10, from Spring, Apare Ranman. So, what's the other anime? So what's the other Spring anime that made it? This list. Here it is. One of the most psychological animes of 2020. And one of, probably one of the, probably one of the darkest. Gleipnir. When I saw the, um, the synopsis from both YouTube and uh, one of those anime websites, I thought, Putarakis, magandang storyline to ah! Magandang storyline ito. But in spring, I was already reviewing anime. So I had the pleasure of reviewing this one. Okay. I had the pleasure of reviewing this one. Talagang start to finish, you won't know what the what the two lead characters will be doing. Hindi mo hindi ko mapredict. Eh, hindi ko mapredict. Lahat si Claire, yung babae, the, the one the one on uh, Shuichi's left, the one on Shuichi's right, is Claire. She is unpredictable as fuck. Okay? But she might make it to she might make it to my best girls list actually. <laughs> I plan to make a, I plan to make another video on best girls of 2020. All right, para trip lang. But okay, a lot of lessons to be learned, of course, from from this anime. All right, sometimes, uh, sometimes you gotta trust the person who is, uh, whose personality is, whose, whose, whose personality is so contradicting to yours. Sometimes, and. An odd couple, an odd couple sometimes holds true. Shuichi has the body, Claire has the brains and fighting ability. Together they make one, uh, one top as nil supernatural team. Okay, and with Claire's older sister as the main villain, ooh, OP, okay, OP na villain yan. I really had a blast watching and reviewing this anime. Talagang start to finish. Talagang inaabang ako i-review ang bawat uh, ang bawat episode dito. So, yan. So from spring, only two made it. Apare Ranman and Glidenir. So that leaves us summer. Okay. So, summer 2020 na. <clears throat> Lahat ng animes na nadali 
schedule, yung airing schedule nila inadali during um, when, when Japan, when, when the pandemic hit. So they had to move all of their anime school to summer, to fall, even to this year. Okay? Para lang ma-accommodate yung lockdown ng mga animators nila. Kasi, well, there are some studios kasi na naga outsource sila ng work nila. And so, not all the animators are Japanese. Merong Chinese, merong Korean, merong Singaporean, merong Taiwanese. Meron mga from mainland China. Okay? Mainland China was, the, China was the first country to be hit by COVID. Alright? So, they have no choice but to move it all to a later date. But the bulk of that landed in the summer of 2020. So, only but only two made it to the Lifestyle 10. First up, mm, Decadence. Some say this is the number one anime of summer 2020. I strongly believe that. Okay. I strongly believe that. Now, this anime wasn't wasn't as hyped as um, what you call this? Uh, other other mecha and cyberpunk animes that year. It wasn't as hyped. Talagang, this anime went under the radar. And if you didn't read its um, if you didn't read its synopsis somewhere, you wouldn't watch this. You wouldn't be um, honest, you wouldn't be tempted to watch this. But I had the pleasure of watching what uh, of watching and reviewing this anime. Start to finish a real experience. <laughs> a real experience. Okay? A lot of lessons to be learned and I had an absolute blast watching and reviewing its entire run. And uh, the finale, wow, one of the best this year, the finale nito. So, first anime from summer 2022, make it in the inaugural lifestyle 10. Okay, next up. This is the reason why, this anime is the reason why Super Hexeros is just an honorable mention now. Because this anime is also a borderline hentai, but it is fucking funnier. Okay? It is way funnier. Peter Grill and the Philosopher's Time is the title of this anime. Okay? Now I don't care if some, uh, if some anime enthusiast would, would classify this as a trashy anime. Nope, I wouldn't call this trashy because it's set during uh, medieval times and uh, the main protag has no special powers. Tutusin mo underdog pa si Peter dito eh. He looks like an underdog but he is the most skilled warrior in the anime. No one could beat him. May technique siya talaga. May technique siya talaga on how to on how to beat his opponent, on how to kill his opponent. Talagang technique lang gumubuhay sa kanya rito. And when he wins a tournament, he becomes the strongest strongest warrior in the world. Which there is a uh, Then all of a sudden, he has four problems. <laughs> he has four problems that tag along this status. Apat na babae ang gusto magpaanak sa kanya. And they're getting every chance they get. Just to, just to get his seat. Wow. And all this is happening under his fiancé's nose. He, walang kaalam-alam ng fiancé niya ang nangyayari. Even up to the finale. Even up to the finale. Walang nalalaman si Luvelia, yung fiancé ni Peter, na may nangyayari palang ganito. Ha? At tinaser pa sa Tinaser pa sa finale May papasok pang tatlo pa Grabe <laughs> Grabe Alright So that's a hint in itself That Peter Quill will have a season 2 okay? May prospect na magkaka season 2 ito Although it hasn't been announced yet A lot of moral lessons to be learned Especially if you're an adult male like me okay? Especially if you're an adult male like me 
Most of the lessons to be learned here are targeted to adult males. Okay? And it wasn't hype. Believe it or not. An anime this great wasn't hype. Eh, ang dami niyang kasabay kasi nun eh. During the summer. Alright? Gun of High School, kasabay niya. Uh, Na-hype na, na, -hype na gusto yun. Uh, I think... Uh, ReZero? Yeah, I think ReZero, kasabay niya. It's also... No, no, sorry. Basta kasabay niya. Basta kasabay niya. So... Didn't get... Didn't get the hype it deserved. Did not get the hype it deserved, but it made it to the lifestyle ten. I chose it over Super Hexeros, because it's mas ane, um, mas true to life yung storyline, mas true to life mas storyline nito, kesa Super Hexeros, okay, mas true to life. So rounding out the summer animes that made it here, yeah, Decadence and Peter Grill. Now, <clears throat> let me set myself up, okay? Let me set myself up for the bump of the Lifestyle 10. Okay? Four animes from fall. Okay? Apat na fall animes ang napili para sa, list, para sa inaugural Lifestyle 10. There were four animes from the most recent the most recent anime season. Did you know that Fall 2020 is the main reason why I call 2020 anime's greatest year? Uh-huh. It's because of this anime season. And the four that landed in this list deserve to be here. First up, this was an absolutely hype. But it was a, it's a fucking good anime. Probably the most relatable anime of 2020. Ikibukuro Westgate Park. It's based on the uh, the best-selling Japanese novel. Okay. And it has a hint that it will be back for next that will be it will be back for another season. Okay. All the lessons to be learned from this anime, talagang kumaga, nothing short of true to life. Right? Nothing short of true to life. Okay? The characters are absolutely relatable. Right? And uh, the storyline, wow. Okay? It's that good. It's really good. I had a hell of a time Re reviewing this anime, much more watch it. Okay? I had a really I had a I had, I had a blast watching and reviewing this anime. Talagang uh, hindi ako nagsisi sa pagpili nito for my, re for my fall review roster. Okay. The moment I read its synopsis, I said, Wow! Okay, mukhang, mukhang true to life tong anime na to. Ah, sige, panoorin natin. Sinulat ko na sa, sinulat ko na sa short disco for my, for the fall, uh, for the fall roster. The fall review roster. Okay, okay ako. So, wow! Hindi ako nagsisi. Okay. Sinulit ng anime na to ang oras ko at ng puta ko. <laughs> at syempre ng puso ko. Okay. <clears throat> syempre ng puso ko. Kasi it's an almost true to life anime. And like I said a while ago, it is the most relatable anime of 2020. Again, Iggy Bukuro Westgate Park. Tandaan nyo ni, tandaan nyo title ng anime na to. If you haven't, um, Caught, uh, caught a glimpse of, an, of even one episode of this, I strongly suggest you do it now. Okay? I assure you, it won't, it won't waste your time. It will not waste your time. Because it made it to the Lifestyle 10. So, next anime, next fall anime to make it here. Kung kailang tapos na ang anime na to, dun palang hinay. Okay? Doon palang hinay pang anime na to kung kailang natapos na. Because its finale was arguably the best. The best for 2020. Alright? And I had, in wow, and I had a roller coaster of a time watching and reviewing this. The name 
Aku Dama Drive. It's a Studio Perro original. Alright? Alam natin lahat. Studio Perro. One of the uh, one of the brand studios when it comes to producing animes. One of the premier studios yan. They've been uh, they've been making their mark since the 80s. Since the early 80s actually. They've been making their mark since the early 80s. Pero original nila ito. That's what I only found out when I read the synopsis again. Original banana piru to? Wow. For me, for me, Studio Piro over delivered on this. Talagang, they thought of the fans. They thought of their fans when they created this anime. Talagang, they really want to, um, they really want to revive the cyberpunk genre. Okay? They really want to revive the, the cyber. I, ako, I'm a fan of, I'm a fan of. I'm a big fan of cyberpunk animes. Mecha, cyberpunk, at saka, of course, uh, our game. Because of Yu-Gi-Oh! I, I'm a huge, I'm a huge cyberpunk fan. Cyberpunk anime fan. Well, like, uh, Cowboy Bebop, Ghost in the Shell. Uh, I've yet to see Akira. I've yet to see Akira. Psychopaths! Ako! Oh! One of the best in recent memory. And now, Akutawa Drive. If you're looking for an anime with stunning animation, look no further. You will have your fill with this anime. You will have your fill. Talagang, ano eh, uh, <clears throat> maganda yung pacing niya because of the way it was, uh, the, way, the, the, way, the way it was animated. The way it was animated. And of course, life lessons to be learned. Marami. In each of its episodes, there is a lesson to be learned. Alright? The biggest lesson I've learned from this anime is, well... Hmm, never trust a character as shady as Doctor. <laughs> kahit gana pa, kahit gana pa siya kaganda, kahit gana pa siya katalino, kahit gana pa siya kasexy. Alright? She turned out to be the... She turned out to be uh, the real villain here. Si Doctor. Okay? And it is the only anime where I saw all the lead characters die. All the characters you see on this key visual, wala na. Tigok, tigok kasi lang lahat. All because of two kids. Na, well, ordinary person, courier, and hacker were trying, were trying to save. And, ito naman si Doctor at si Hoodlong gusto nilang punin yung dalawang bata for themselves para eksperimentuhan ni Doctor. And of course, well, si, si Brawler, he, he died at the hands of, of, an, of an executioner. They both died actually. Okay? With no winner. Kasi na, nag, ano sila, nag-face fight sila. So, di, he didn't get to see what, what happened next. Si Cutthroat naman, yung nakaputi, all he wanted was to kill ordinary person kasi gandang ganda siya. I think Catriona Gray should, should start hiding if she sees Cutthroat. <laughs> Masama palang mabighani si Cutthroat. Kapag nabighani siya sa'yo, papatayin ka niya. <laughs> he, he, will, he, will, he will do his darndest to kill you. He will do his darndest to slit you wide open. Pero, well, he failed in his, uh, he failed in his, uh, in his desires. Ordinary person kills him. Alright? So, wow, okay. <clears throat> wow factor? Oh, yeah. If you would make me choose between God of High School and this one, I would choose this one every time. Okay? I would choose this one anytime. Ganong kaganda ang story nito. Alright? And it wasn't hype when uh, even uh, before it started airing, it wasn't hype. Because what? Well, kasabay niya. Kasabay niya. No bless. No fall, ha? Uh, Re-Zero... Re-Zero Season 3? Or, uh, ano ba mo na na-hype na anime si Jordan Paul? Yung mga ganun. Okay? Yun ang mga na-hype eh. So, it almost, it almost went under the radar on 
until until the finale was aired. Okay, doon lang na-hype ang anime na to. Kung kailan natapos na. Doon lang na-hype ang anime na to. And people na are people are now seeing what they just missed out. Okay, samantalang ako, I will I watched and reviewed it from start to finish. From pilot to finale. Uy, nagana na pala to. Excuse me. Charge my camera! Ha? 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 Second anime, second fall anime to make it to this list, Akudama Drive. And it deserves to be part of the Lifestyle 10. Okay? Next. You know what? I don't think Moriarty the Patriot was hyped uh, before, before it first aired. Wala akong narinig eh. From, from my fellow otakos. Even from, even from Reddit groups. From, even from Reddit, even, even from Facebook, actually. No one is, like Akodama Drive, no one is talking about Boyard and the Patriot before it aired. But midway through its inaugural season, I'll explain why. Midway through its inaugural season, people are starting to talk about this one. And rightfully so, because it is a whole new take on the Sherlock Holmes storyline. Okay? It's being told through the eyes of his arch enemy. It's being told through the eyes of his of his arch enemy. Yeah, it's William James Moriarty. This one. You may have a king na yan. Okay. Crime consultant, but we all know him as the Lord of Crime. Okay. Um especially during the finale when he had this competition against Sherlock Holmes. To see if uh, who solves the who solves that murder case first. Mayroon ba yan na nanya? Pero nakita natin nakita natin kung gaano kaloko si Moriarty. Okay? Nagplata siya ng sarili niyang ebidensya. That's how that's how evil Moriarty is. So with this in mind, I cannot wait for season two to start. Okay? From start to finish, I really enjoyed watching and reviewing this anime. Not because I am uh, I am very familiar with the works of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, especially in Sherlock Holmes. I've seen I've seen some Sherlock Holmes movies in my life, in my time. Okay? And they're nothing short of amazing. All of them. Even the one by uh, even the one by Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. It's nothing short of amazing. Pero, this one is a whole new take on the entire uh, Sherlock Holmes universe. Okay. It is seen through the eyes of his arch enemy. Kaya ang ganda ng concept ng storyline na to. The moment I read the, uh, the moment I read the synopsis, sabi ko, puta ragis! Meron pa na, meron pa na nakaisip ng ganito? It's a whole new take on Sherlock Holmes! Sige, sige! Pucha, review natin to. Panoorin natin tong anime na to. And, it did not disappoint. Okay? It did not disappoint. Although, medyo bitin yung finale. Kasi, kaya pala, um, a second season was announced to be aired, to start airing this April. So, sa month pa ng, sa, sa month pa ng birthday ko. Baka masarap ang magiging birthday ko dito. <laughs> so, third anime to, to join the third fall anime to join the Lifestyle 10, Moriarty the Patriot. If you haven't seen this anime, well, I'm sure that if you've seen at least the pilot, you will fear, you will get FOMO'd. Okay? You will get FOMO'd by this anime. So, to round out the Lifestyle 10, last fall anime to join it. This! Okay? 
the third member of the Holy Trinity of Manwas is here. Bakit nobles lang? Bakit nobles lang? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll explain why. Because, but personally, it's the most relatable anime. It's the most relatable of the three. It's the most relatable. Now, Tower of God, well, everyone loves an underdog. Bab is an underdog. Natural. All anime fans love an underdog. Okay? So, why not why not watch an anime with an OP lead? With an OP main protag in Rizel? Napaka OP niyan. <laughs> Napaka OP niyan. Right? But despite that, um, him and the people around the, and the people he he surrounds himself with all want a normal life. Kasi yun ang, yun ang tinuro niya eh. Yun ang, yun ang in-impart niya sa mga, sa mga to eh. You may have powers, but show respect to, to those who are to those who are who are not as blessed as you. Show uh, show, show uh, make friends with them. Mingle with them. A lot of lessons, a lot of lessons to be learned from this anime. Although uh, it wasn't as hype as its two, uh, as its two co Holy Trinity, God of High School, and Tower of God. No, it didn't get that much hype. Right? It might be a little bit right? It might be a little bit But like I said. It didn't get the hype it deserved. Okay? Napunta lahat sa Tower of God at saka God of High School eh. Yung hype na deserved sa kanya. Napunta halos lahat dun, isa dalawang yun. And, but, if you ask me, Noblesse's storyline is the best among those among these three. Okay? It's the best. Kung baga, um, yeah, God of High School. If you're into fighting animes, just watch Dragon Ball. Okay? Watch Dragon Ball first. Watch um Baki. Okay? It re- God of High School reminded me actually of Baki. Right? Power of God, yeah, there are a lot of underdog animes. Okay? <clears throat> the storyline of Noblesse, I found it most unique amongst the three. Okay? Most unique siya. Because um there are, there are only a few vampire animes eh. I don't know why it's classified as a vampire anime. Wala namang vampire sa kanila eh. Wala namang vampire sa kanila eh. Okay. But their powers are talagang pang vampire. Pang vampire nga lang. Right? <clears throat> I had an absolute blast watching and reviewing this anime. Okay. Amongst all the Holy Trinity of Manwas, dito talaga ako nag-enjoy Dito talaga ako nag, uh, nag-enjoy at nakarelate. God of Arsenal, yeah! I, I had a blast watching that, pero there's not much, there's not much more or less to pick up from that one. Dito ang dami. Namumukat ka. Namumukat ka, actually. You can learn a lot from that, uh, from that peaceful, from that, uh, from that poker face of his. Sometimes that poker face can make you laugh. <laughs> But may mga funny moments na siyang involved. Halos lahat ng mga funny moments ng anime na to, siyang involved. <laughs> and, he didn't, and he didn't even break a single smile doing it. So, that's what makes Noblesse unique. That's, that's one of the many reasons why Noblesse is, uh, has the most unique storyline amongst all the three. Holy Trinity of Manwa. Okay. So, rounding out the Lifestyle 10, Noblesse. So, <clears throat> i-recap natin ang buong lifestyle 10. Okay? Noblesse. Uchu. Moriarty the Patriot. Akudama Drive. Ikibukuro Westgate Park or IWGP. Peter Grill and the Philosopher's Time. Decadence Gleipnir 
Ah, pare run man. Darwin's game. And Somali and the Forest Spirit. So there you have it. Twitch, YouTube, the lifestyle tech. And his honorable mentions and special mentions, of course. <sighs> I finally got that out of my chest. So, what are we looking forward to now? Well, I intend to do this on a yearly basis. Okay, Lifestyle 10 and Otaku 5. I intend to do this on a yearly basis. On New Year's Eve, of course, and on New Year's Day. So... <clears throat> I intend to do this again on a yearly basis. Hindi lang for this one. As long as I, as long as I can review uh, new and returning animes, we will have these lists year in and year out. The Otaku Five and the Lifestyle Ten, most especially the Lifestyle Ten. Now. Projections. Um, the way I see it, 2021 will be um, will be a tough year selecting for the Otaku Five. Because, maraming maraming returning animes. Okay, there will be there will be uh, we we will be flooded by recurring animes this year. Etong winter palang hitik na tayo. And of course, we have six holdovers from previous season, from, from 2020, actually. We have six holdovers from 2020. Not just the previous uh, anime seasons. So we'll be reviewing that as well. So, yung anim pa lang yun eh. Ano ne? Uh, qualified na sa Otaku 5. What more pa yung mga darating pa? Na recurring animes. So, we're gonna have a hard time selecting, uh, deliberating for the Otaku 5. I think we'll have a much more difficult time deliberating for the Otaku 5 than for the Lifestyle 10. Kasi sa dami na mga animes na babalik this year. Okay? From 2020 pa lang, I'm standing on 1 million lives. Moriarty the Patriot will have their will have their second season this year. Um, qualified na sila for Otaku 5. Eh, we only have 5 slots. We only have 5 slots. We will have I will have my work cut out for me by the end of 2021 because of these recurring animes returning. That's for the Otaku 5. Okay. I may have, but I will have an easier job for the Lifestyle 10. Actually, I will have an easier time. 